So in this course, I've talked about how critical correct timing is for when you deliver a food reward. And I'm going to show you a videotape here of a mistake that I've made, and it's the second time I've done this with two different dogs. Little, <laughs> first, my little Shih Tzu that we had that was a rescue. I think we rescued uh, Daisy when she was like 11 years old, and she passed at 13 and a half, loved her. But I made the mistake with her in the down, and I asked her to down, and I rewarded her at the wrong moment in time. I rewarded her when she laid down and she was wiggling her front feet one time and going forward forever when she heard down, she would lay down and wiggle her front feet like that. It's kind of cute, but if you're training a competition dog, you're gonna lose points for that. So the only way around fixing that is to rename it with another command, like whatever you want to say, and you don't use the down command anymore. When you add another command, you just make darn sure when they lay down that you don't reward them, you don't hand them the reward, toss the reward, whatever, when they're doing this. So I did the same thing <laughs> with Rosie, my eight-year-old Shih Tzu who's now eight, and we got her when she was a puppy, and I wasn't paying attention. And this is an example of you may only do this mistake one time, and it locks that behavior in your dog's head, because forever now, Rosie does the same thing. I don't know what I do. <laughs> I have to be more careful when I'm training the down. I'm gonna show you a video that I just took this morning of Rosie before I came into the, to work. Got the camera out, asked her to lay down, she lays down, <laughs> starts wiggling her front feet. So now I reward her for doing it, what the heck. <laughs> I can tell people, yeah, I trained her to do that. Not intentionally trained her to do it, but I did train her to do it, so I might as well, I might as well own it and act like I trained her to lay down and wanted her to, to wiggle her front feet, which is not true. So I'm going to put that on now and you can take a look at it. But keep in mind, one time you can make a mistake in the delivery time of your reward and it can stick in your dog's head. And it's like I said earlier in other videos on the sit, you don't deliver the reward until the dog's butt is on the ground or you're going to end up so many dogs, they just sit and or they just squat down and and their butt's not on the ground, and then the people reward them for that, and you don't have to do it very many times, and you think you teach your dog to sit, you haven't. You've taught your dog how to squat. I've seen it again and again and again over the years.